everyone and welcome back to another video and yes you you read the title I have jumped on the hot train so if you have been living under a rock which I really hope you haven't this is fourth wing so this is this book is freaking everywhere and I mean everywhere in my feed right now so this was a buddy read suggested by Meredith from reading with Merb so I'll link her channel down below as well as the discord if you guys want to join in now I decided to read this early because it coincided with another buddy read that starts next week and I kind of didn't want to, to have two books on the go at the same time especially if I'm doing a buddy read for both so I thought I'd start this early and obviously you guys from the title you can tell I have finished this, but as you can see by the beautiful tabs, this is a, from what I've heard, it's a five book series. I I don't know how she's going to stretch this over five books, but you never know. Sarah J. Mace is for Akatara yet, so yeah. So without further ado, let's get into this vlog and see what I thought of Fork Link. So we have an update. So I finished the first two sections last night. So I'm now up to page 114. And as you can see, we have tabs. Not as many as I thought I might, but we have a bit of a color scheme going on here. So we have mostly, mostly pinks at the moment. Um, yeah, but I, I do see the hype of this book. I'm the sexual tension between the two main characters this holy fucking shit that fight scene in the ring that's the hottest fucking shit i've ever read in a while holy crap what i will say about this book i love that the main character is so basically she has a childhood friend as well i think it's dane whoever he is he's starting to piss me off a bit is because he's like oh you know i can get you away from here and you know, I want to keep you safe, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, no, I'm determined to prove you motherfuckers wrong. And I am going to do it. I love that. I love that so much. So what was interesting in the Discord, Sash brought up that he's giving her Tamlin vibes. I'm like, yeah, he kind of is. He kind of is. But, um, yeah, so we've had quite a few deaths in this already. And like, I'm only at like the 25% mark, so I can only imagine how much more brutal this is going to get, but yes. So that's where I'm up to at the moment. As I said, we have tabs, so it's a good start. It's, um, yeah. I, I can definitely see the hype, what the hype's about. From what I heard, it does get, it does get a lot more intense, so... Yeah, so at the moment it's sitting on a four, solid four stars. It's not quite five. Uh, not quite five yet, but I wouldn't be surprised if it does become a five star. But yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> So it's now Wednesday, I'm down, and I have some books that I bought today. So I bought two and I got one of them out. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I picked up the extra chapter edition of the Gilded Cage. So I believe this is from 
actually it's scenes from the brother's point of view in this one. So, I'm pretty sure it's the brother. Yeah. Brother. So, quite, quite keen to read that little bonus scene. Like, right, with the first one, like, Bessie was begging me to read the bonus scene because, oh, it was so hot. But anyway, so, I'm so excited for this one. It's going to be awesome. And on top of that, I bought the sequel to... None Shall Sleep, which was Some Shall Break by Ali Mani. So this was a... So None Shall... Whoa! There's in the computer there. So this None Shall Sleep was a book recommended to me by Ali as part of our book club recommendations from the three of them. So Ali, Lana and Mel each chose a book for us to read based on what we like. And Ali recommended the first book. And I quite enjoyed it. I gave it four stars. So I was quite keen to pick up the sequel. Hopefully this is a four star. I loved... I quite enjoyed the first book. It did drag a little bit. But I, I'm hoping I quite enjoy this. Especially when we do get other characters from the first book coming back in this one. So it's quite... So if you guys don't know what this is about, it's basically where... These two teens who've been affected by serial killers are hired by the FBI to essentially help them out in cases and then pulled into, well actually no, not real life, yeah, no, they are real life cases, but they're older cases, like under, older unsolved ones, and they get pulled into a real life one in the first book. And then this is basically what's happened after the events of the first book, obviously. So quite keen to get to that one. So it's exciting. And then I got a package, you know. So I'll open it up. I do know what this is. Uh, I should have opened this before I started filming this video. Yeah. Oh, it's actually a tab you can pull. Crap my tongue. Uh, ha 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 ha. There we go. <laughs> A few moments later. Right. <laughs> Very awkward kept the transition there. So the other book I got today was Impossible Imposter. Blah, 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 blah. And Impossible Imposter by Dion Avalon. God, try signing that five times fast. So this is book seven in the Veronica Speedwell series. And I picked this up on Katie Collison's recommendation and I absolutely love it. So so far I've only read the first two and I've been meaning to get wait for this one to come out in paperback so I could do a vlog of reading the first eight no not eight books eighth books written when it came out but this is book seven so basically it takes about a year for the paperbacks to come out so I'll probably have to wait a year to read the sequel unless I decide to get it by ebook but yeah so this is book seven and oh, how pretty I love this cover it's so pretty the purple is just oh purple's my favorite color I love it so, um, yeah, keep an eye out for that vlog in the future. But what you guys are really here for is this beast. So I am now up to chapter 30. And we have more tabs. Oops, that's it. So we have more tabbies. One thing I will say about this book, the, the thing I'm finding the most, the only one flaw I'm finding at the moment is the pacing is a bit slow. Uh, probably... Some people probably think, like, what are you on about? I don't know whether that's because I'm taking the time to just read it and actually annotate it as I go. Because normally, by now, I would have had this done, maybe in two days. But it's taken me at least three, four, maybe, to get to chapter 30. Only because I'm, like I said, I'm saving it. I love the character dynamics in this book. But the sexual tension between the two main characters is... Oh, it is beautiful. The best friend is starting to piss me off quite a lot. So, oh, he's constantly, oh, you can't do this, you can't do that. I'm like, dude, fuck off. Like, seriously, go away. Because <laughs> some, one of the dragon shits burn him, please. <laughs> and I, I love that the main character's catching on to it now, too. It's just like, oh my god, you're a pain in my ass. Oh, yeah, how did I not realise that? But anyway, so we've just got to this 
part where so she's already been killed well not she hasn't been killed she people have tended to kill her again like I almost just had to get the main character in this book I tell you but basically which she's now found out that she's connected to Jaden and his dragon as well because of course she's got the two dragons instead of one like everyone else does um I'm loving the dynamic between her and the dragon it does get a little bit annoying after a while the sort of internal dialogue between them I won't lie but uh, it's, it's fine it's mostly fine I, I love some of the sass of this um it's this classic band that I I love between friends and lovers it's just great so um yeah so that's what I'm up to now like I said I'm up to chapter 30 I've only got how many sections do we have I can't even remember I think there's like two more sections we've got to read from what I remember and Discord decides to load for me hurry up oh uh, ha, 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 ha. Uh, yeah, so we've got two more sections to get through. So, yeah, that's what I'm up to now. But um, I I don't know whether I'll finish this tonight. Like, I may finish it tonight. Like I said, I've only got two sections left. But, um, yeah, so of course, like I said, we've got more tabs. Uh, I stand by what I said before in the first update I did. This is still a sort of... Hang on, I've got the video in the back. Shut up. <laughs> so at the moment it's still a solid four stars. It's not quite five star material yet. What I'm finding is that it's more it's definitely more character based for me at the moment than like you do have snippets of the outside world obviously with the reports that they get every day, but I have a feeling that might be explained a bit more in the next book, which I think is out in November, from what I've been told. I'm just getting that kind of vibe from it at the moment. But um, I have seen reels where people, like, they say the ending for Shocker. Um, I kind of have a couple of theories about how the ending, what the twist is going to be. Um, I think it's either going to be the best friend betrays her, because let's face it, he's just a dick. Uh, the mother betrays her. Well, she's a fucking dick too, but let's just not go there. Um... So there's at least those two, but then again, I wouldn't be surprised if he, Zayden, whatever his name is, betrays us either. It could go three ways, but um, I'm hoping that the last two sections is what gives it a five star for me. It may not. It may still be a solid four star, but at the moment, it's a, it's a solid four. So, um, yeah. Oh my god. It is now 10 o'clock. I finished it. I finished it. I finished it about five minutes ago. Um, where I'll talk about <laughs> Ted's last couple of chapters. I, I predicted the brother was a... Not the brother. The, the best friend was a shit bag. I, I, I fucking knew it. I, he's just a... Can we just kill him in the next book, please? <laughs> but the brother being alive, I did not predict. I'm like, ah, what the fuck? But then I'm not surprised the fact that the mother's a piece of shit too, but, you know, crappy parents and all that. Um, so I've just put it through a cool pile. 4.5 stars, not quite the 5. I, I knew it wouldn't be. I knew it'd be at least a 4 or 4.5. But, oh, I can see why people love this book. For me, it sort of, the pacing needed, a, I think they're kind of, I think this book was more sort of to try and set up the character relationships, the 
dynamic between Violet's friend group before we go into book two, which is out later this year. So I'm quite interested to see how that book goes. But um, yes, I finally finished it. I, I think it's only taken me like three days to get through, which is pretty good considering that I've been slowly tabbing it as I go along. Um, obviously, I've just finished. I haven't put the other tabs in it yet. But um, yeah, so I'm quite impressed. But I'm, I can definitely see why people like this book. For me, it just needed, I think the middle dragged a bit too much for me. But like I said, I've given it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Hi, we're back. So, as you guys saw, I absolutely love this book. Four and a half stars. Not quite five. I know, I know. No, not quite five. Oh, my God. But uh, we have a better look at the tabs. With my camera will not. There we go. So, I'll show you what... Well, actually, I did show you what they mean, but I'll explain again. So, pink is love. Green is quotes. Orange was shocking. Uh, yellow was characters. And blue was well-willing. So... Yeah, I can definitely see what the hype around this book is. There was obviously some things I did, did, did predict, I should say, <coughs> excuse me, from the brother being not. Why do you think it's the brother? <laughs> the best friend. Oh my god. Mm. You can tell I've just got over work and I'm struggling. The best friend was a dick. Uh, the mother's a dick, but you know, I kind of knew that from the get go. But yes, I'm very, very keen to see where the sequel grows in November. So that is the end of this video. Thanks so much for sticking around. I know this is probably a lot shorter than some other people's vlogs, but I tend to sort of... Well, originally the plan was to be a bit more updated, but obviously that didn't happen. So thank you again so much for getting to the end of this video. As always, if you were not subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you did. If you enjoyed this video, do give it the big thumbs up and I shall see you guys in another video coming really soon.